Clive Palmer is looking to open a new mine in central Queensland, despite his company, Queensland Nickel, still owing $300 million. One of his subsidiary companies has applied for a mining lease on a property that was due to be sold to pay down debt for Queensland Nickel. At this vast cattle station north of Rockhampton, there are plans in the works to build a major coal mine. It's owned by Queensland Nickel and two of Clive Palmer's companies want to develop it. How is that legally possible when he still owes $300 million? The property that, that they're talking about opening the mine on, as far as I'm aware, is still owned by Queensland Nickel. Samantha Larkins is one of 750 workers who lost their job after Mr Palmer's nickel refinery near Townsville collapsed in 2015. She's outraged by the proposal. It's been difficult for everyone. You know, a lot of families uh, have done it really tough. There's been a lot of marriage breakups. Uh, a lot of people have had to, um, if they can get work, um, they've had to either move away or do fly and fly out. Queensland Nickel bought the property for $8 million in 2010. In 2015, Queensland Nickel collapsed owing $300 million to creditors. Last year, administrators tried unsuccessfully to auction the property off. The highest offer was just $1.5 million. Now two of Mr Palmer's subsidiaries, Styx Coal and Fairway Coal, want to mine it. Styx has lodged an application with the department, but it's still being assessed. The mess that Clive Palmer left Queensland Nickel in Townsville is disgraceful. And fundamentally, um, he should be focused on that first and foremost uh, before he focuses on anything else. The project hasn't been granted environmental authority. Because it's so close to the coast, the environmental issues and the environmental concerns will be much higher um, than they would be in a, in a more remote location. Experts say if approved, it would take years for the mine to become operational. The ABC tried to contact Mr Palmer for comment. Isabella Higgins, ABC News, Marlborough.